Thank you for choosing MIY Outdoor Blinds. In this video, we will show you how easy it is to install your HD or HD Plus blinds. Have your order form and grid paper drawing handy. You would have had this when you first measured and ordered your blinds. If you need help at any point, hit the My Support button on our website for extra support. Step 1. It is important to make sure your blind is installed level. Find the shorter side on your MIY order form. In this video, it is on the left side. Measure from the ground up and draw a reference mark at this height. Using a string line or laser to transfer this levelled height to the opposite side. Once you have the correct level, measure from the ground up to the new level mark for the correct measurement for your channel. If the channel needs to be trimmed down, mark your new measurement at the bottom end of the channel and cut to size. Please note, if you have ordered a back angle, take an additional 5mm off your new channel measurement. This allows the channel to fit easily under the back angle. Step 2. Install your back angle. Mark and drill holes every 400 to 500 millimetres. Then fix the back angle to the bottom side of the patio beam as shown in this video. Step 3. Install your channels and brackets. Place your brackets inside the top end of the channels and mark out where your fixing points will be. Now mark and drill your fixing points every 400 to 500 millimetres using a 5 millimetre drill bit. After drilling, deburr the holes for a cleaner finish on both sides of the channel. For installation into steel or timber posts, place the channel in the correct position and check your channel is level, then mark the fixing points onto the post. Pre-drill with a 1 8 drill bit. Then fix your channels using the correct wafer head screws. If you're installing HD Plus blinds, you will need to insert the brushes before fixing the channels. For installation into brick and mortar or other structures, place the channel in the correct position. Check your channel is level, then mark the fixing points. Pre-drill holes with a 6mm masonry bit. Hammer green plugs into the holes, then fix your channels using the correct wafer head screws. Step 4. Installing your brackets. When installing the operational side bracket, the crank gearbox needs to be attached first. Once you have had the gearbox adjusted to the correct angle, tighten the bolts using a 4mm Allen key. Place your bracket to the top end of the channel and fix by using the correct tech screw. Step 5. Installing the blind. Before installing the blind, unpack the blind and get it into the correct position. Unwind the blind approximately 600 millimetres as this makes the installation a little easier to manage. It is always easier to do when you have someone holding the other end, so find yourself a buddy. First, push the operational side of the blind into the gearbox. Then place the pin to the opposite side of the blind, making sure that the grooves of the pin are facing outwards. This allows the pin to slide smoothly onto the mounting plate of the bracket. Now place the R-clip through the two small holes to secure the pin. If your blind is motorised, make sure the wire is pointing up or towards the desired location. This will make it easier when connecting the blind to the power source. Now place the C-clip to lock in both the motor and bracket. Use your crank handle to wind the blind up to the top and then down to the bottom. This is to double check the rail is level and making sure it does not catch on any screws from inside the channel. You can always readjust the bottom rail at any time.
If your blind is motorised, you'll need to refer to the programming instructions provided on our website. When the blind is connected to power and programmed, you can continue on to the next stage. Step 6. Drill the setting points. First, start by winding the blind right down to the lowest point. Make sure the lowest point is 3mm to 5mm off the ground to prevent the fabric from rubbing on the floor. Then use the supplied gauge tool to mark the setting points on the channel. Slide the tool onto the channel and sit it down on top of the bottom rail with pressure. This will give you the horizontal line of your setting point. Look inside the channel and align the end of the gauge tool with the edge of your fabric. This will give you the vertical line of your setting point. Without adjusting the blind's position, do the same on the other side. Raise the blind up and out of the way. Now, drill the holes with a 7mm drill bit, making sure you drill both holes level and straight the whole way through. Once all your setting holes are drilled, use a bigger drill piece to deburr the holes for a cleaner finish. Step 6. Tensioning our blind. Wind the blind down below the setting point. Insert the stainless steel locking pins on both sides. Then wind the blind up. This will lock the pin into position and tension the fabric. You can have as many setting points as you like. We always recommend a halfway setting point. This is great for blocking out sun and encouraging airflow in summer. Step 7. Installing added extras. If you have ordered a spacer, mark every 500mm to 600mm having at least three fixing points. Pre-drill all the way through with a 5mm drill bit. And on the front side only, widen the holes with 13mm drill bit. This will allow your screws to fit through when fixing the spacer to the existing post. Install the spacer level to the existing post and fix using the correct tech screws. Once the spacer is installed, you can install the back angle, channels and brackets as per a standard install. If you have ordered a post, mark out the sizes of the blinds from your job card onto the patio beam. This will show you where the post needs to be attached. Measure the height from the ground to underneath the patio beam. Allow an extra 50 millimetres to connect the top of the post to the patio beam as demonstrated in this video. Notch out the post with a thin angle grinding disc to suit your application. Please note, this is one of many ways to install a post. Please refer to our website for more photos and applications. Place the notched support post in position, then check the post is level from both sides. Mark out the bottom by drawing a line around four sides of the post. Fix the internal bracket onto the floor inside the four lines. Place the post over the bracket. Double check your levels and fix the post to the bracket. Then attach the top of the post to the main beam. Check your levels one more time and fix. You can now install the back angle, channels and brackets as per a standard install. If you have ordered a hood box. Hood boxes come in two sections. Section one will already have the side brackets attached for you. This part of the hood box can be mounted to the bottom side of the existing patio beam or through the side brackets as demonstrated in this video. Once section one of the hood box is installed, you can measure the correct sizes of your channels. Measure from the ground to three millimeters from the underside of the hood box. This allows for section two of the hood box to fit in easily. Use the measurements to trim channels to size, then continue as per the standard install. Now that your blinds have been inserted and setting points have been drilled, finish off by clipping section two of the hood box into section one. Once clipped into place, fix the sides to brackets using a wafer head screw as shown. We hope you have enjoyed the installation process. Remember, there are a lot of support options online, including photos, questions and answers, and our online support team. We also value feedback and positive reviews for our future clients looking at the DIY option. Now, sit back and enjoy all the benefits of your new outdoor blinds from MIY.